Today, we all worry about unemployment, every citizen and every politician. We face a severe economic crisis, one with devastating effects, particularly on young people. Fixing this isn't just an academic debate. It is about helping those without jobs, those without certainty, those without perspectives or planning for the future. And it's something we owe to the people of Europe. How do we create tomorrow's jobs? by investing in tomorrow's sources of growth. And for me, it's clear where that lies, in the digital economy, a sector that creates jobs like no other. In fact, in 2011-12, as overall employment fell steeply, ICT created 100,000 new jobs. And not just any jobs, but among the best paid in Europe. Boosting growth and exports, productivity and performance, the European economy and European employment are coming to rely on the Internet. In fact, many of those new jobs are created by entrepreneurial startups. Indeed, the European app economy alone contributes nearly 800,000 jobs to the economy. Europe is full of top tech talent and full of the bright ideas to build tomorrow's businesses. Our startup manifesto is about giving them the environment they need to succeed, the recognition, the rules, the resources. Many of those jobs also need top quality digital skills. Yet today, one in four adults lack the digital skills to effectively use ICT. The Commission's recent, recent proposals to open up education are an ambitious agenda to address this and other problems and make education fit for the digital age. It's not just about putting computers in classrooms, but integrating ICT everywhere for innovative teaching and learning. With more open resources and learning environments, helping teachers adapt to a world where they can be guides, not gatekeepers, and with every classroom connected by 2020. Of course, ICT isn't just about young people. New digital tools can help older people too. From helping them avoid falls, to helping them get healthcare at home, so they can stay active and healthy for longer, maintaining their dignity and independence. And that is very important in a labor market that is rapidly aging. And by the way, ICT is not just about men either. Women can have a great digital career, enjoyable, successful, rewarding, jobs that are about coding, connecting and creativity, about innovating, solving, sharing. But too few women are capturing these opportunities. Only 3% of women with a degree have it in ICT, compared to nearly 10% of men. And only one in seven of those women then go on to work in the sector. Fix these problems and there is a triple win for women, for their employers and for the economy. Women in the ICT sector earn 9% more than in other sectors. Organizations that are more gender inclusive get a 35% higher return on equity. And if women held digital jobs as often as men, there would be a 9 billion euro boost to the European economy. The internet creates five jobs for every two lost. Soon, 90% of jobs could require some kind of digital skills. And there is a huge online opportunity to create the jobs of the future. But it's no good having those jobs without the skilled people to fill them. And there are hundreds of thousands of ICT jobs going vacant. That is a tra tragic paradox. High unemployment at the same time as so many unfilled jobs. Indeed, within a couple of years, up to 900,000 vacancies could go unfilled in the EU if we don't address this challenge and plug this gap. Every single one of those is a loss to Europe, a well-paid job that goes elsewhere. Ultimately, this is not a problem that politicians or bureaucrats can fix alone. That is why we launched a grand coalition for digital jobs to get contributions and collaborations from those who can help. Companies, trainers, educators, local authorities, voluntary organizations, you name it. And so far it has been a great success, with dozens of pledges for new platforms, programs and partnerships. Real commitments to create real skills for real jobs. Now we need to scale up 
those efforts. To make a difference, we need to reach out to many more, not hundreds, but hundreds of thousands. And that's going to take some investment. Indeed, there is funding available in the European Social Fund, not to mention our new 6 billion euro youth employment initiative. ICT skills are just one aspect of those, and ultimately national or other authorities will be responsible for deciding how they are spent. But we have to ensure they are used to invest in tomorrow's jobs, like in ICT. And I'm glad the European Council also recognized this as a priority. Because it just doesn't make sense to have a shortage of specialists in a time of unemployment, especially in a sector with such strong sustained growth. There are many problems we face today, but that just shouldn't be one of them. If you agree with me that ICT skills should be a priority, then join me in making your voice heard and let's make that case together. Ladies and gentlemen, digital tools and digital skills can help every citizen, men and women, young and old, and every company too, in sectors from transport to television. Our proposals on a telecom single market will help connect our continent and provide a boost worth up to 110 billion euros per year. And a big help for sectors from hotels to healthcare, with all the extra innovation and job that implies. But we need to adapt for a digital future across the board. So let's ensure the human capital for a connected, competitive continent. Thank you.